come in, like, it's warmer in here. Here, survive. But then I'm like, I also want to kill all of them, you know? And it's only around this region where I need to wear my mask. These are what the shops look like. Here's the cute little Starbucks up ahead. I don't want to know how much money I spent on Dunkin'. I don't want to know. I really don't. So originally, like, $90 I got it for that. $46, including tax. We were getting a new washer and dryer, which is a whole different situation. <laughs> And hello everybody, it is Dingle here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing super super duper well and today guys, thought I'd vlog for you. Let's see if we can get some better lighting. Oh, that's cute. It's a little bright, let's take it down a notch. Here we go, oh, you little fall decor action going on, so cute. This morning was extremely productive. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but in order to stay organized, I actually write down a lot of stuff like an organized checklist. That's Jack, by the way, he's making his lunch in the kitchen. I just use the note section or the note app within the phone and I make checklists. I got this idea from a vlogger that I really like watching. Her name's Alyssa Rose and it sounds so simple because it's like we have all of these really pretty planners and I'm sure there's like organization apps and things like that that are more aesthetically pleasing but the notes one has worked so well. So a tip if you want to get like more organized and just like on track with some of your daily to-do list, I would totally recommend trying this like note app. It's it sounds so simple and like so like duh, but I check it a lot of times throughout the day to make sure that I'm on track with everything. I was able to get through a lot this morning, but before we get into what I got done this morning as well as what we're gonna get into today, if you are new, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below because we upload videos every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Everyone do not forget to give this video a big old thumbs up and let's hop into it, friends. So here's my to-do list from today. Basically, I had to do a few like content creation bits. I'm an independent contractor when it comes to like content creation if that makes sense so I had to send a video out for a company that I do work for I sent that out just in time for them to be able to submit it to some sort of conference which is super cool I had a few emails to go through and that doesn't seem like a big checklist item but like emails can take so much time so I actually put little things such as I'm just getting like a pillow to sit on I actually get things like emails and even like making lunch and stuff like that onto my to-do list because if it takes more than like 15 minutes, I want it on the list so I can just like check it off. I had a few life admin things to get through, some tax stuff, some like, oh my gosh, it was just like, oh my gosh. It didn't take as long as I thought it would, thank freaking goodness, but we'll see what the response to what I had to do today is and that might be more work, but it's done for today. I made some lunch and Jack is making his chicken. I had the standard lunch that I have every single day that I showed you guys in the other vlog and that was very freaking delicious. And then I actually just ran out to get some more dry shampoo and that brings me to a couple things that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I feel like I try things in vlogs or I like test products in, oh my gosh, look at him though. But I feel like I try some products in vlogs or I even dedicate full videos to trying out like some viral products and stuff like that. And then I don't really update you guys or at least I try to update you guys. But the dry shampoo that I just went to get is actually a repurchase. You guys know I have been kind of on a journey of dry shampoo. I tried a couple that were not working at all and I have very fine hair. So the oils can show through quite a bit and honestly no dry shampoo I have found is absolutely perfect in restoring my hair just like I shower but here is the repurchase that I got. A friend here on the channel, Tim D, recommended the Dove stuff and it was so good. I got a mini bottle the first time I got it just to like try it out because I was trying to find the perfect dry shampoo for my hair and that was only like three to four dollars, I think at Target or Walmart. And I was shocked at how good it was. And then I went and tried this one, the Living Proof one, which was a lot more pricey for this small bottle, this small trial size bottle. This was like 12 to 14 dollars and their full size one I think is like $24 or something like that and it worked really really well as well but Jack actually was just asking me in the kitchen which one regardless of price or anything worked better on my hair and I couldn't really remember which means it wasn't that much of a difference I think I really liked the smell of this one since the Dove worked well enough like literally there might be some shine in here but just to throw my hair back up in a bun and not have it look 
look really, really horrible or like fly away or like, you know, you did not shower. I'm taking it for sure. And I can't justify like literally this full size bottle being like in the $20 range. Whereas this full size bottle is literally like, I think for the full size one, I just paid $6 at Walgreens, six to $7. Love that. But if I'm feeling bougie, might go for another one and see like a full on difference. Maybe I'll film like a comparison between the six to $7 bottle versus like the $24 bottle like of this one, you know? Because I'm personally curious how I actually do like this one or if it like makes a difference at all. But that's empty. Oh my God, the flies. That's another update, guys. It is fall here. Oh my God, I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're freaking everywhere. Can you see? Are you picking up? Ugh, get away from me. Where are they? I don't see them. They're hiding from you. So bad. It's in my face. Get away. It is officially fall here in Maine and I don't know if it's the weather. That's the only thing that has changed because we literally aren't dirty people. Like we clean our apartment pretty thoroughly every single Sunday. Like we wipe down the sink, we wipe down the bathroom. We do all of that stuff. We don't let dishes pile up for more than like a day. And then we like end up doing them after, but we have not had this fly issue like this before ever at this like capacity. And just in the bathroom, I just saw three of them. They're just these little fruit flies. I don't know if it's the weather change, if like the cold weather has been like bringing them inside because they're cold and they want to be warm, which actually makes me sad because then I'm like, oh, come in. Like it's warmer in here. Here, survive. But then I'm like, I also want to kill all of them, you know? But anyway, back to the products. The other product, I made a main channel, a main channel of, I only have one channel. Anyway, I like a main video, like a dedicated video with this ordinary blood mask. It's called the ordinary AHA 30% and BHA 2% the peeling solution. It is a chemical exfoliant and I will leave that video link down below if you want to see like my full experience with this product Super scary looking Jack gets freaked out whenever I use it He said it looks like I'm bleeding through my face pores whenever I put it on but I have been absolutely loving it I use it once a week just as like described or prescribed or whatever it is recommended and whenever I use it I feel like a layer of just like gunk on my skin is immediately wiped away when I go to wipe off the solution it's really good but the other thing though like my skin I love that solution so much and I've been doing the other skincare that I've been talking about recently as well I haven't changed anything and my skin is getting really bad and it's only around this region where I need to wear my mask and oh, I can't help but think that this is mask knee I know a lot of people have been complaining of getting mask knee obviously I'm not complaining about wearing a mask but it's just an unfortunate side effect that I didn't necessarily have before, but now all of a sudden, just right around my chin area and sometimes up on my cheeks, just really wherever the mask like comes up and just flies, just really wherever the mask comes. Oh my God. So I have oily skin. Many of you guys have suffered from mask knee lately and you know of a good product for oily skin just to, you know, keep things clear or just any product that keeps your skin clear. I'm all ears. I'm all ears, friends. Let me know in the comments below. But anyways, friends, I'm about to head out the door and go to Freeport, actually, to visit the Patagonia outlet, which is very exciting. We'll talk about more of that in just a second, but I wanted to show you my outfit of the day. This pullover is from Aerie. I got it on clearance over the summer, so I don't know if it's online, but if I find something similar on Aerie, I will link it below. But it's kind of like a high-low, just slightly higher on this side than the back. And then if I'm wearing, like, joggers or something like that, I'll tuck it in the front so that it just, like, it's kind of cute and slouchy. These joggers I got a million years ago at J. Crew when they weren't as trendy and when you could really get joggers quite honestly anywhere. But now I feel like joggers are like always sold out. But yeah, that's the OOTD. I'm probably gonna put on my white Sperry's. They're looking disgusting. I have white vans, just like white slip-on vans, the plain ones on my list for potential fall clothing items that I need to get. So I think I mentioned in the last vlog that I haven't gotten my list of fall clothes like ready and finalized. Just some staples that I am really wanting in the wardrobe. I know there are things like floating around in my head but I really need to get that in a list before I do a solid shopping trip for fall because this will be our second fall slash winter in Portland, Maine and I feel like Jack and I barely scraped by last fall because we moved when it was fall time and then the holidays came and then we got some things for Christmas that would kind of get us through the colder season. So we 
we don't really have a lot of layers. Your summer tops aren't gonna cut it. You know, the t-shirts are obviously the tank tops and things like that, or like the really, really thin layers to put on top. And then if you put on like a winter coat, that's way too hot. So we need some more just in-between layering. And Patagonia and L.L. Bean have really, really great layering items. So no, I don't have a full list in order to go full on outlet shopping to set myself up for the most success for fall fashion and warmth. But I do know that I want a pullover. And I have like a $37 gift card to Patagonia. So I thought that we would take a trip to Patagonia today. Jack and I tried to take this trip, I think like twice now. We went to Freeport just for fun in the vlog that I am posting today actually. So happy posting day. In that vlog, we ended up going to Freeport because we were hiking kind of near there. And then we saw how long the Patagonia line was. But then we went again yesterday because Freeport is only 20 minutes away from me. Allison, I am speaking. Can you refrain? We went yesterday with the gift card, but yesterday was Sunday and the line outside of Patagonia because it's not a really big store. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go on a weekday. I'm gonna get my stuff done in the morning. I'm gonna go today. Didn't plan on going today, but that's just how the cookie crumbled. So let's get in the car and head over to Patagonia. Bye, baby. Oh, he did the dishes. Thanks for the dishes, Bubba. The other thing, guys, look, they did the driveway. It's so nice and smooth. Freeport is literally the cutest freaking, like, town ever. Like, that's the Banana Republic outlet. That adorable house with the beautiful bushes around it and like that's like a restaurant right next to it. Like what? And then there's like this adorable path to like the main shops from here. It's just so cute. Excuse me. Like excuse me. Who gave you permission to be this stinking freaking adorable Freeport? Who gave permission? <laughs> Much quieter today than on the weekend. This tree is stunning. These are what the shops look like. Here's the cute little Starbucks up ahead. I am dying. I am like, hello. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want. feeling a coffee of course when you're out at the shops you don't just like go to the one that you were meaning to i'm really good at like not buying anything especially if it's not on a list you guys have heard me say that like a million times but since i've trained myself to really not like steer away from a list it really helps me not just like impulsively buy patagonia was super cleared out like there was not a lot going 
going on there and then I knew that there was an LL Bean outlet around here obviously because this is where their flagship stores and oh my gosh it was my first time going in their outlet I got this pullover in the pink that I was hoping to find in a pullover in a slightly oversized size I got it in a large when I would normally be like a medium if I wanted it to fit like perfectly so I can wear it with jeans or leggings and that pullover was originally $90 and I got it for $45 I got it for 50% off I feel very accomplished with that purchase so I'm glad I didn't settle for anything in Patagonia even though I had a gift card there I'm glad I didn't settle I'll just save that gift card for something that I know I really really want but I just got a text from the people that I submitted the video with this morning and they need some last minute edits so I'm going to head back but I need a coffee so bad so let's just go to Duncan all right that'll be three Seven. Thank you. No problem. Hi, I'm here, I promise. There we go. We go to Charlie. Is anyone surprised at this point when we have our own Dunkin' drink? The thing that I order most is the Charlie, so they're just gonna have to just change the name and not the order to the Dingle instead of the Charlie. Oh, this is going to taste so good. I feel like every time I sip the Charlie, my day gets better. Not that this day was bad. Like, not at all. I'm a little stressed about the last minute edit, like, requests and stuff, but what are you gonna do, you know? Hi. Thank you. Do you want a copy of your receipt? No, that's okay. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. It's perfect. It's so perfect. Look at it. I don't want to know how much money I spent on Duncan. I don't want to know. I really don't. Oh, that color. Oh, that's such a good color. She did it good. So good. This isn't even monumental, quite honestly. It's literally just like cold brew, whole milk, and like a cinnamon or what is it? Caramel swirl, caramel swirl. But something so simple can just turn any situation around. Like I can do this. Like I can do the rest of the day after I've had this. I just started showing Jack what I got and he goes, do you need to record this? <laughs> All about that vlog got dead. And look what I ended up finding at 50% off. Oh. You see the pink? Yeah. The pink. I think he I sees that color. Nice. I know. That's a score, dude. Throw and look. Feel it. Oh, I love the color. Ooh, it's so comfy. Oh my gosh, you're gonna love this. I know, baby. And the other thing is, I didn't want a hood. Where's mine? <laughs> like, I didn't know there were so many, baby. In the boys section, there are like a ton of pullovers like this. And ones that like Ilya has. Like the ones that Ilya has in like a winter green color. And like we should go for like layers or like pullovers or sweaters for you. Is this not the softest? thing that that's you've a, ever felt amazing, yeah. really I, ridiculous I like so originally like $90 I got it for that 46 I including saw. tax that's awesome I know I'm really pumped about it all right before I get into editing my life away I definitely need a snack so I'm gonna have myself some avocado toast All right, I have my own vlog to get up for today. Today is Monday, and then I have all the edits and stuff to get that video submitted on time. So, what time is it right now? I don't know how to read that. Like, I know how, I just wanna know the specific time, you know? It is 4.50, so I'm gonna eat this toast, and then let's call it five o'clock, where I will start editing all of the things, and then let's see how long it takes. I will see you whenever I see you. I'm curious how long this is gonna take, actually. Hello friends, it is exactly 7.02. So when did I la- Oh, that only took literally two hours. That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It definitely helped that I did the rough cut of my vlog last night or else I would be editing and uploading into the early AM. So that is done. I just have to watch it all the way through to make sure everything is good and then I will export it, make a thumbnail upload, which actually takes like another hour or so. I always underestimate how long uploading and making a thumbnail actually takes. But right now, Jack has, I'm gonna say made us dinner. He definitely did, but we had this sausage soup last 
night, so we're just having leftovers of it. It is so good. And right now we're watching The Office, but there's this show, and it is on HBO. Okay. So if you have HBO, we watch it on the computer, and we just like project it or like Apple Play it. I don't know, like up to the screen. It's called The Vow. If you have HBO, I highly recommend, it. especially if you're into cult type of behavior shows. I am so fascinated by that stuff. I think it has to do with the fact that I'm just so interested in like human behavior, and that is what my college degree is in. It's in like behavioral neuroscience, so like things that go on in the brain and different things that make you act a certain way and like cults are just like so fascinating to me. That and like serial killers. It's sick and twisted. I'm just so into it. We are going to watch a cult show with dinner. How wholesome of us. And I'm actually going to catch you guys tomorrow because I was going to show you all of the home goods fall hall decor that I ended up putting up around the house. But it's just like dark right now and I would like to do it in natural kind of light. So I will catch you tomorrow where I will take you on a tour of our fall decor in our house. I'll see you guys then. Good morning, friends. We are getting up and started here in the Dingle Schaefer household. Jack's got the jams in our office right now and he is diving into work. I have, ooh, Oh my gosh, I thought I forgot about the hard boiled eggs, but no, we have a timer on those. That is going. And yeah, just been sipping coffee, waking up, about to dive into some worky bits myself. I also wanted to give you an update on my skin. It doesn't look like it's doing better, but I gave it the royal treatment yesterday. As you guys saw, we did the blood mask yesterday. I forget if this was in this vlog or the other vlog, so forgive me, but we did the blood mask yesterday obviously after cleansing my face and then during the night time I cleansed my face thoroughly I'm still on the simple micellar facial gel wash thank you Hiram for the recommendation and then directly after cleansing I went ahead and did this water mask this sleep water mask I know a lot of people really like the lip mask that this company comes out with it is the pink one version of this but this this is actually the water sleep mask. So I put this on my skin just to hydrate up my skin while it's sleeping. And honestly, there are definitely still like blemishes from yesterday, like one up here. Like I'm thinking of places where the mask kind of goes. There's a few around here, but then what I notice is the tiny little bumps on my chin are actually reduced. So the blemishes or whatever is left of them, there's definitely nothing like in them anymore, but those are still red. But they're not like fiery, you know? And then just the little like bumps and stuff are gone. So we gave the skin the royal treatment last night and I think it was a good move. But I wanted to bring you through where I ended up putting up the fall home goods haul items that I showed you guys the other day because I couldn't help myself. I think I literally ended that video and then Jack was out for a run so I just started puttering and since it was all like in the living room I was like I gotta clear this. Before you knew it I was taking off the tags, clipping off like the little like cardboard stuff around everything and I was decorating and I didn't know what happened. It was just like super super natural. I don't know what happened. So I'm gonna bring you guys through exactly where we put everything starting in the bedroom actually normally we would not have this throw like this like all folded in half we'd have it like draped across the end of the bed but there's no way I could move this angel of a kitty in order to just get the aesthetic I wanted so she's there and then Miss Allie wishes she had some blanket she has like this corner to herself but her sister is kind of hogging it right now and then I think the only other thing in the bedroom fall related we have that pillow but that's not like a home goods haul thing I did put the falling leaves candle in here and even if it's not lit we actually haven't lit it yet because I don't like to light candles and then like walk away from a room I don't really know I just don't like it but it just looks so nice in the office we went a little more Halloween hold on let me turn on these candles they have like a four hour setting that I didn't realize so you don't have to worry about if they're gonna like be on forever and then burn themselves out you know so we went a little more Halloween -y, as I was saying so right when you first walk in I dispersed the two LED flickering candles on this shelf and I took off some of like the normal dirty decor that we have on here to like make room so it didn't look too cluttered. And then I balanced it out with the middle shelf being the eat, drink, and be scary as well as the candle we already had. And then over here, this shelf has, I feel like, become an organized cluttered mess. I think what it is is all of Jack's Xbox games. They weren't originally there. He usually just had his favorites over here so I think we should like put some of those away so it doesn't look like so crazy. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like 
overthinking it. But on the top here, we have our little Jack Lantern. We already have the Beware sign. And then this thing, we haven't gotten to it, but it's gonna string across here. And so the bat is gonna be in the middle. It'll be like a focal point, like Halloween type of thing. So not too much, but just a little splash of Halloween in the office. Oh, and then my absolute favorite room to come into in the morning. Like, I don't know if the camera is picking up on the light that is this space in the morning. But like, oh, anyway, as I was saying, the morning light in here is just absolutely stunning. This garland is so perfect. And you guys remember that I was going between the garland plus the wreath. Oh. Wow, it must be over an hour later because literally everything was happening all at once. I saw our landlord coming up the steps and I knew that we were getting a new washer and dryer, which is a whole different situation. But she said that she would be here for the installation so that we wouldn't have to like do anything or whatever, which is super nice. So when I saw her walking up the steps, I was like, oh no, something went wrong or she has to like tell us something or whatever. So I had to put the camera down and then I looked at my phone and I was already like 12 minutes late for an online meeting that I had on my calendar so that was really great she was like um are you gonna join it's okay if you're not and i'm like yeah totally and i like went and joined the call and then i hadn't eaten breakfast yet in all of that craziness so jack made me the hard-boiled eggs and i ate those and that's basically what you guys missed anyway where were we i think i was showing you guys the garland here and i was going in between having the wreath and the garland and decided that the garland looked so good by itself that i just wanted to keep it like that and the wreath is somewhere different so i'll show you that in a minute what else we we have this pillow here. I think it looks so good with the pumpkin pillow we already had. This one is the new one from Home Goods. When Jack picks up the living room, he likes to put the pillows in like a arrangement that he enjoys. And then when I don't touch it, he thinks that he did a really good job. So we just like don't touch it because he likes to contribute to the aesthetic, you know? And then the only other thing in this area is this sign here. We have already this nail that was there, like upon moving. So we always like hang signs on it depending on like the season. This actually works. This bell thing here is like old school. It makes a really freaking loud sound and I hate it so much. But it says pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. We love that. And then moving into the dining room. Right over here we have the pumpkin spice candle and we have burned it several nights in a row. It smells so good. And then over here I stuck with the same table like, well it's not a cloth, it's a runner. I stuck with the same one because I didn't like find one that I necessarily loved at Home Goods. Instead of the green leaves that were here, we have this like dried out hay grass type of thing and I think it looks very, very fall. I'm very much enjoying it and it goes so nice with the shelf stuff. We have this beautiful, beautiful pumpkin. Oh, it's got a bald spot. Let's turn her. There we go. Beautiful pumpkin here. And then right up here, I got some name suggestions. You guys were so cute with your name suggestions. I think what we're going to do is go with, I think it's called Sir Reginald. <laughs> so Reg for sure. Amazing. Amazing. Jack sometimes puts this hay vase up there and it actually looks really good, but it's mostly because Hippo and Miss Allie like to chew on this stuff. So to keep them safe, if they're like into it that day, put it up there for cat safety. And then in here, this is where the wreath has gone. I honestly felt very confident in this placement. I felt like since it's only the floor, Miss Allie couldn't get to it. However, she already has. She actually had her paw on it and pulled the whole door down, but do not worry. No kitties were harmed in this event. She actually like scurried out as it was like slightly falling. It's like she was like, oh, destruction, let me make it and then leave it as fast as I humanly possibly can. And then the door was actually caught by the bench. So everything was like fine. And I've actually kept it up there only because I wanted to see if she learned from that incident. And so far she has, she hasn't tried to go near it. I would say 10 minutes after it happened, she like was crouching near it, like going really slow, like up to here. And then she just stood and like watched it. It didn't make any moves whatsoever. And I think she's over it. I think that traumatic experience really did something for her and she's not going on it, but I'll keep you guys updated. The kitchen towels that we already had in here kind of worked with Halloween anyway. So I'm keeping those there. It's about it as far as the kitchen goes. But now we are going to get our day. It's already been started. There's been like so many. I was going to say get our day started, but it's already been kind of crazy in the house. So we're going to continue on that. We're going to go take a sneak peek at um, 
what our new like brand new washer dryer like looks like I have no idea what to expect it has a bunch of like touch buttons and stuff that's why our landlord came to the door it's got like like what the buttons mean what to do and like I have no idea what to expect quite honestly she says it holds a lot more than what we had so this is these are the exciting things when you're an adult these are so exciting especially if you don't have to pay for your new washer dryer it's like brand new and I'm so pumped so if you guys want to see what our new washer and dryer ends up looking like and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet make sure you do so down below because we upload videos every single Monday Wednesday and Friday everyone don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video I'll see you later bye